Okay, so welcome to question A4 of section A, uh, mock exams, higher level 2023. So the drawing below shows the plan of a similar triangular base pyramid um, that is relating to the desk base calendar or desk mounting calendar. Determine the dihedral angle between surfaces A and B. Right, okay, let's label these A, B, C, D. So B, B, A, A, and C. Now, is, we have to ask ourselves, is the line of intersection between A and B already a true length? So is that line of intersection between surface A and B a true length? The answer is no, it's not. So we're going to have to uh, find the true length of the line of intersection. We're going to have to find the true length of it. So we're going to look perpendicular to that surface. We're going to look perpendicular to that surface. Now I'm going to project my points from plan. Okay. Uh, perpendicular to line A, B. So I'm projecting my points from plan. So, uh, A, B, C, D from plan. I'm going to take my height from elevation. Right. So B is on the y line elevation so it's on the x1 y1 line so too is d1 and so too is c1 so the only height we have to take is line okay at the apex a so i'm taking the height with my elevation okay and i'm going to follow a along here and i'm going to step it along there now here's the true length of the line of intersection a a1 b1 True length. All right. Here is D1 and C C1. So I'm going to join C1 to A1 and D1 to A1 as well. So there we can see surface A and then surface B is hidden behind it. Now, once we have that, we need to look along the true length of the line of intersection. Look along the true length of the line of intersection, okay? Because when you look along the true length of the line, it's going to project as a point. And when the line projects as a point, the surface it contains projects as an edge view. And okay, in our instance, okay, our line of intersection is contained by surface A and surface B. So there, we're going to have uh, both surfaces projecting as edge views. So I'm going to draw in my x2, y2 line and I'm going to take the distances from two x, y lines back. Now, this is a massive distance to go back with my compass from the x1, y1 line back to plan. So I'm going to use a datum line. Right, so I'm going to use a datum line. in lightly, datum, and then get the distances for A and B. So compass on the datum line, nip back to B, and for A they're both the same. So I'm going to find B and A here. So there we have them there, so that's B2 slash A2. So the line is projecting as a point. Okay, datum line back to D. Find D here, okay, and then C, find C, and I'm going to mark it in, so probably should have put my datum line a bit closer, or I have not moved my X and Y1 line out so far, okay, for space in the sheet, there'd be no marks deducted from it. There was B2 
there was C2. Now, so I'll just show you there D again as you obviously weren't able to see that. So I took the distances, or C rather, come from the data mine out to C, follow C along there, mark it in with the sketch mark. Okay, get your, your protractor, and it's always a good habit to mark in the value of the dihedral angle there so we avoid losing any marks okay which would be probably 85 degrees sorry no 90 90 degrees is our dihedral angle 90 Okay, now, to determine the true inclination of surface B to the horizontal plane. Now, here's surface B, okay, and if I want to get that true inclination, I need to get surface B to project as an edge. Now, very similar to the last one, I'm going to look along a true length line. Now, B to D is a true length line because B to D is on the XY line in elevation. So, I'm going to get my A set square here. Project along line B to, uh, to D. I'm going to do project line BD and points A and point A. I'm going to draw in my X1, Y1 line. And this is an edge of the horizontal plane. So I'm going to get my compass. Take the height here of A. Step it there. Here now, I'm going to have the true inclination of the surface, ABD, to the horizontal plane here. And it says determine and indicate. Okay, and I should have said true length there. So true, or sorry, edge view. So there's no line of true length there. Measure the angle, so we say it's 60 degrees. Now, when it says determine and indicate, it means write it in. Okay, that's what it means. Otherwise, we're susceptible to losing marks. Thank you.